My name is Amy Coonan and I'm part of the Advantage team here with ABP. Um, so I suppose firstly, um, in order to tackle soil pH and soil fertility, the first step is to take soil samples. If you haven't taken a soil sample in the last three to four years, you need to update them and get them taken. So all of our liaison officers can go out and take the soil samples for you and they'll take them and they'll send them down to the lab and they'll be tested for Lyme, P and K at a reduced rate in one of our two labs. The second step then is to utilise those soil results, be it new ones or ones that you have on farm, and identify the fields that need uh, P and K or need Lyme uh, to bring up your pH. 50% of beef farms are suboptimum for pH, and this is going to reduce the amount of grass you grow, but it's also going to reduce the efficiency at which your nitrogen or your fertilisers are working. So it's important to bring up your pH and get it to that optimum level of 6.3 to 6.5 in order for your fertilisers to work adequately. If you have your soil pH at the correct level, that 6.3 to 6.5, your soils will actually release up to 70 kilos of nitrogen per hectare per year, every year. And if you bring that back, that's like you going out and spreading two bags of can per acre every year free of charge. And once your pH is correct, you, that nitrogen will be released year on year. So you're getting that benefit. The other side of, I suppose, getting your pH correct is the phosphorus. So if your pH is below optimum levels, it will, it will lock up the phosphorus in your soil and you won't be able to utilize that with the grass that you have grown. If you spread your lime, that phos phosphorus will be released back into the soil, the grass will utilize it and you'll get higher growth rates. And phosphorus is one of the most expensive and it's the slowest of the indexes to bring back up. So if you can increase that through lime alone, there will be a cost saving there.